Cancer, welcome to my channel and today we are doing your October monthly general reading and these are general readings, if they do not resonate with you, please check your moon, rising, Venus or Jupiter. So I'm going to do a nine card spread and see uh, the beginning of October, the middle of October and the end of October. So Cancer, what is happening with you? Cancerians, what is it? What is it that you're supposed to focus on? What are you supposed to face challenges? Let's say, beginning of October, there you are. Mid of October, uh-huh. Oh, and look at the end of October. So where is the challenge? Okay. All right. Outcome. See? Lying for nothing. Oh my God. Cancerious. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll come to it. I'll come to it. This is the second time this has happened with me in one of my readings. And, and this, that's happened with cancer. Okay. What happened with cancer? And I'm going to tell you about it. Oh my God. It's, it's like history repeating. Okay. I don't know why I did this. With the other readings, I kept these cards upside down. But for you, it just happened. Okay. So we'll leave it like this. Okay. Oh my God. Cancer, cancer, cancer. What's, what's with you? What's with you? Something great. This is your time. Okay, your messages. This I'm going to keep face down. All right. Cancer, before even I start, if you remember, I don't know, it was, I think, May or June, or June or July reading, you had this. And this has come again in a different deck. But you have nine, nine, and nine. Again, a triple nine. Again, it means completion changes the final step. Done with. Finished. Okay? Good or bad? It's done. It's nine, nine, nine. Again, this is repeating for you. And this has just happened and, and I think it was June or July. And this is happening again. So this is something definitely to be focused. And you have all four nines, okay? That reading also had four nines. Nine, 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 nine. And this time also, it's nine. Solitude. So you have, before I start, let me show you the nines. You have all four nines, Cancer. Card number nine, card number nine, card number nine, and card number nine. All four nines. Card number nine, 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 and nine. Okay, so you have all the nines, all four nines. So, Cancer, this definitely means something. Okay, all right, now let's begin. In the beginning of the month, the first 10 days of October, I, I feel you're, you're fighting some deception. You could be dealing with uh, an air sign or there could be somebody who's trying to cheat you, maybe financially or somebody who's really jealous of you. There could be people around you who are really jealous because you're going through this. You see this? Four nines? You're going through this. Whatever you're doing... It's changing you and you've changed a lot. So you're coming into your power. And that, though people may not show it on your face, but they are jealous of you. They're jealous of your lifestyle. They're jealous of the way you think. They're jealous of the if, how evolved you are, how matured you are. So people could be jealous. People could be even uh, deceiving, trying to cheat you, trying to show their good side towards you, where deep down they don't mean it, okay? Your challenges 
Cancerians, a new start, a fresh new start. You want a fresh new start. You want everything very different from what it was last time. Or you want to reconnect with somebody or, or you know, start your life on a different platform, a different way, a different routine. And that's your challenge. You're not able to do that. Because there's still something from the past that you're clearing. But what is happening is you're getting your wishes fulfilled. Whatever you have been wishing for and working so hard, that's, that's gradually coming to it you. Okay? You're getting your wishes fulfilled. Things are falling in place. Gradually. If you were looking for the job, you're getting the job. If you are into your own business, you're seeing success at last. You're seeing your fame. You're seeing your name. You're seeing your... Maybe you, you, you are attracting a lot of people, a lot of attention on you. So there could be jealousy around you. Your fellow friends or your, your family or somebody in the family could be jealous of you, your friends. But those friends whom you had in the past, they could be negative ones, they could be positive ones. But they're not, they, they are not showing it to you, but they're not happy with your success, okay? They're not happy with whatever is happening in your life because a lot of good things are happening. As you go in the middle of October, you are reconnecting with your childhood. Or you could be connecting with a child. Or you could be connecting with people you love, places you loved. Maybe you're going back to certain places where you've spent your childhood. Maybe you're meeting some people who are way back from your childhood. Or it could be a sweetheart of the past connecting with you. They could be coming towards you. You could have an ex coming towards you. But something good, something good which happened in the past is repeating itself. It's coming towards you. You are in the childlike awe. You want that innocence is there. You want it again. And it's coming to you this time. Again. Challenge could be, again, our play. Even if this comes towards you, or there could be, again, somebody or some people around you who are trying to control you. Or maybe it's you who is finding it difficult to control your emotions. Maybe this person from your past had left on a very bad note or had left a very bitter taste in your mind, mouth. And now that they're back, you're trying to control those emotions and be happy about it. But sometimes you also come into your anger. Things that have hurt you in the past, when you're facing them again, you could be having a power struggle. You could be having that lack of strength to fight it. You know who this person is who is envious of you. You know who this person is who is trying to cheat you. But you're powerless. Even if you want to, you cannot be bad with them because just because they are bad with you. So that is kind of leaving you a bit. Maybe you're taking on two things, too many things. You're suffering, okay? You're suffering. But you're not expressing it that you're suffering. You're not liking it. Maybe it's your ex who comes back. But you, you, you are fighting, you're controlling that anger, that hurt that you had the last time. So you would rather cry in silence, but in front of them, you're showing that you're so powerful, you're doing so well, and you're so happy. They might come back to connect with you, or they just might bump into you. Or it could be, you know, people from your childhood, or you're visiting places of your childhood where you're trying to emotionally control yourself, but there are certain things that you're missing. Or you're missing certain people when you visit those places, okay? Certain old memories. But then I see those things you would rather suffer in silence than to show it to the world. As you go towards the end of October, look at this. You have some new beginning. So, I said, some old, some for some concerns, an ex could be back in your life with new passion. An ex could be back with a new energy, with new love. Or it could be you growing, 
Now that you're here, fulfillment of wishes, as you go towards the end of October, you come into wealth. You start seeing results. You start seeing that name, fame, prosperity, something great beginning for you, something very exciting, something very good beginning for you. So it could be in love. It could be in matters that you are passionate about. It could be in work. It could be in money. But whatever it is, it is good. But challenges, I feel it's more about name and fame, popularity. Why? Because your challenge is solitude. Your challenge is being in your own. Part number nine again. It's about taking some time out for yourself. Really going inside you and processing all that. That could be a challenge because you're surrounded by people. So it could be new set of friends or suddenly you're very popular. Suddenly you're very famous. Maybe you went back home and they, when you connected, now you're connected with a lot of cousins and a lot of uh, aunts and uncles and neighbors who have reconnected with you and now they are, they, they regularly talk to you or they come to you with their problems because they've seen you solve yours and move ahead. So you could be surrounded by a lot of people, a lot of activities. So you're not finding time for yourself. You're not finding that peace and quiet that you wanted. You're not able to go back to your shell. Okay? So, Cancer, what is happening is you are getting your spiritual strength back. You are getting your belief in your spirit because you have been working a lot on that, your spiritual growth. So now you realize that all these things have come from detachment and not attachment. All these things have come and fallen in your lap because you have learned to move out of all this. So now that you've moved out, universe is sending them in abundance to you. Till the time you were holding on to them, scared that if I let them go, then nothing is going to come back to me. Things were not good. Now that you've learned it, you've evolved spiritually, you no longer connect at a possessive level. Things are coming back to you. But definitely a very good time for you. Can cancel us. I'm very excited for you. Okay. This, this four nines repeating again. Really, I'm, I'm super excited for you. Okay. So do leave a comment. Do leave, a, you know, whatever is happening in your life. I would really love to know. Because I see you people, people getting jealous of you. That's an achievement, girl. That's an achievement, guy. I mean, that's some achievement concerns. People only get jealous when you're doing something right. Okay? So enjoy it. Why crib about it? Enjoy it. Let people be envious. You have had your share of downfall. Okay? Cancer, look at your messages. Blessings of abundance. The first week itself is bringing you, the first 10 days is bringing you abundance. Your fulfillment of wishes and blessing of abundance. The first week itself is bringing you abundance towards you. What else do you want? So that is making a few people. Jay, let them be. Hello. You can be green with Jay, violet with Jay, purple with Jay. Who cares? You can burn and become a coal. Who cares? There's your time, Cancer. Pay attention to your visions. Okay, what's your long-term goal? What a spirit time to show you. Enjoy that. Okay? Don't be scared. People from the past, things from the past are coming back to you. They're coming back good. So that is because you had prayed for them. So let them be. And look at the ending. It's a message from God. Love. You are getting love back in your life. Could be through a person. Could be through work. Could be through money. But whatever it is, this is the highest vibration. And I remember, I think in that video too, this had come as your message. That highest vibration. This all is happening, Cancer, because you are in your highest vibration of love. You love everything that is happening with you or around you. You're in love. If you are yet to come in that vibration, then you will come. But those who have already reached that vibration, this is the month you're going to see the manifestation of that vibration of love. Okay? I'm not going to ruin it any further. I'm going to straight go to your messages. First week, the festival. 
abundance, festival, wish fulfillment. Come on, what else do you want? I'm not even going to explain. It's festive time. Enjoy. It's a time for you to rise, shine, enjoy, do whatever you feel like. Okay? If you are in the highest vibration of love. And if you are yet not there, if you're still thinking, what is happening with my life? Why am I so down? What is that? Just come out of it. Look at the other cancerians. Come out of it. You have so many. You have the magic waiting for you. Okay? Second week. Dragonfly. Oh my God. You bring light to this world. You are the person who is bringing light. As I said, you're not going to get time for yourself by the end of October. Okay? That is because people have started getting envious of you. People have started reaching out to you with their problem. You know why? Because you are the dragonfly. You bring light to the world. People see their light, their ray of hope, their sunshine, their positivity. They get it from you. So imagine the kind of positivity in you right now. Cancer, if you're still not there, be there. Okay? And the third, safe and happy travel. You're moving. So there is protection if you're journeying. For so some Cancerians, you could be, you know, this cut. As I said, you could be visiting some places from your childhood. Maybe for some of you going back home. So it's going to be safe and very happy one. You're going to come back one happy Cancerian. And this month is bringing you a lot of blessings and abundance. My All the best to you Cancerians. This was your general reading for the month of October. I'll see you with your mid-month check-in later. But please do check your love and your finance and career. Maybe that gives you a full idea of how your month is going to be. But whatever it is, Cancerians, you are rocking it. You are rocking it this month. So all the best and I'll see you later. Bye.